bookworms. Today I'm going to be doing my April TBR video. I have kind of a similar TBR to my March TBR because I had kind of a weird reading month in March. I ended up abandoning a lot of my TBR and I spent a lot of time reading Anne of Avonlea, which is the second Anne of Green Gables book. I was just kind of moving at a slower pace because there was so much going on personally last month that I didn't have as much like brain power to devote to reading because as you know, I'm commuting, so I definitely have the time. I just like was finding it challenging to focus, but I really enjoyed that slowed down pace. I really enjoyed reading that Anne book. It definitely like reignited my love of the series and I can't wait to read more of it. But anyway, I'm going to show you the things that I am planning on reading in April. So one of the first books that I really want to get to, Snow and Rose by Emily Winfield Martin. This is a middle grade book and it's about Snow White and Rose Red and I just like was really drawn to this because I love the cover so much and I love the illustrations within it. Like look at that cute little gnome. I just think it's really adorable and even like the chapter headers are really really pretty. I showed this off in a book haul a little while ago and I'm very much looking forward to reading this one. Next on my list is Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian. This is one that I was really highly anticipating and there's actually going to be an event at Books Are Magic which is a bookstore in Brooklyn on April 27th and Siobhan Vivian and Jenny Han are doing an event together and I really want to go and I really want to get my Burn for Burn series signed but I really want to read Stay Sweet before I go and I just love like I love the cover because of the ice cream obviously I think it looks super adorable and it's like everything that I love in contemporaries. I cannot wait to read this one. Then I want to read Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. This is the next Sarah Dessen book on my list because I'm reading them all in publication order and I know that this one is a bit darker than some of the other ones so I'm kind of excited to jump into this and to see something a little bit different than the first couple that I've read so far. I have a feeling that I'll end up reading this one within like two days because I seem to just like eat up her books. Then I'm also planning on reading Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. This is a standalone novel. It is about female Vikings and it sounds incredible. I know I've talked about it in a couple of other videos but it follows a girl who is fighting. She's a Viking and then on the other side of the fight she sees her brother who was presumed dead like a really long time ago. So there's some kind of mystery going on and I also really like that it's a standalone fantasy. I think the cover is super awesome and I'm just so so excited to read this one. I've heard amazing things about it. I'm also planning on reading Nine Days and Nine Nights by Katie Catugno. This is the sequel to 99 Days and I can't wait to read this one. I love Katie Catugno's books. I love her writing. As you guys know, there's just something about her writing that I find so delicious. It's so pleasing and enjoyable to read and she actually posted a blog post like a week or two ago and I was like, yes, please keep blogging because she hasn't blogged in so long and I seriously just love reading anything <laughs> that she writes. Then I have two carryover books from March that I didn't get to, the first one being Arusha and the End of Time. It's really unusual for me to have two middle grade books on my TBR for the month because usually I barely read any middle grade, but I very recently read this wonderful book here, Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow, which is a middle grade book, and I cannot even express how much I loved that story and now I'm just like craving more middle grade that will give me similar feelings because I loved that book and I really really feel like I'm going to love this book especially because it's been compared to Sailor Moon and you guys know how much I love Sailor Moon. She is like one of my kindred spirits but yeah this one just came out at the end of March and I've also heard really wonderful things about it and I really cannot wait to read it. And then lastly, I am also planning on reading Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. This is another one that I have talked about in numerous videos that I was planning on reading last month, not next month. <laughs> I was planning on reading it last month, but I didn't get to it, but I am absolutely 100% for sure getting to it this month because gonna be so good. Just to give you a brief synopsis again, Belle's a girl whose best friend dies along with a group of girls and the police end up ruling it as a like mass suicide but the friend knows like her friend wouldn't do that so she uses some kind of witchcraft to bring all of the girls back to life but they only have seven days to figure out who it was that really killed them and they don't remember anything about their murder so it sounds like it's gonna be 
just incredible and I just love the whole premise and this one's also compared to Mean Girls and I love Mean Girls so much so I feel like I have a really good good solid list of books that I'm planning on getting to this month like really excited about this TBR and it's actually also unusual for multiple reasons so not only is it odd that I have two middle grade books on there I really have very minimal fantasy books and I feel like I usually largely read mostly fantasy so this is gonna be a like an interesting month. And I, I always fly through contemporaries, so I do feel like I'm going to get a lot of reading done. This month, I'll probably make up for some of the reading that I didn't do and meant to do in March. <laughs> anyway, let me know what it is that you were planning on reading in April. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I've talked about, and I will see you guys soon in a new video. Bye!